Well, if you guys are coming into this video, obviously you read the title. Uh, I should point out, it's not exactly what it might say. Yes, it does say how to beat Club Mars. However, I don't exactly have a save to where I could actually show going up against him. Since I, <laughs> I kind of already beat him, as you can see, I stand it off in the distance. Also, some of you guys are probably wondering why I even do a video on it if you can't even show it. Well, because somebody I know in real life was basically struggling with I basically struggling to get past uh, Club Mars, couldn't beat it. And I even gave him a couple tips and things like that of what to do, how to get through it, all of that stuff. So I originally set out to make a guide, basically, about how the club works, what you could do, give some tricks and tips and all that kind of stuff. But say you're somebody that has struggled to basically... this. I should point out, this video... Primarily, I'm going to cover basically what can help you get through it rather than actually show it. Because you don't necessarily have to show somebody. Because what I'm about to show you while you get in here, in the game, in this part, is going to be applied to when you get a rival challenge. It's really no different. When I first played this, uh, I did not have that much of an issue getting through Club Mars. But if you're somebody that, you know, has tried that out, but for some reason you just can't get by it, well, hopefully this video will kind of address those people or kind of help you. Okay. The main key you need to really understand, obviously, you know, since I have I here, it's kind of not a little bit of a not, uh, not a little bit kind of an unfair comparison here, but it doesn't really make a difference. Your, your platinum hostess is mainly what's going to get you by in. You know, most of the rival challenges that you have. But the main key to work with them, though, you want to level them to a certain point, but you don't want to overwork them. Make sure that by the time you take on the challenge, that all, all your hostesses are pretty much rested up, and you have enough of them. So let's go ahead and go into it. Like if you were just starting a, you know, just a normal session that you would come out. So, okay. So now... Pay attention, pay close attention exactly what you can do because you hopefully that you can apply this when you go up against him. Okay. Now, obviously, the customers that come in, they all respond to different things. They all look for different things from a party sign to, you know, uh, skill to love, talking, all kinds of different things. Now, you see when you go down, there's different, you can select which ones. Um, Obviously, the the most the, the higher the, the the customer has satisfaction, the more you'll get out of it. But you don't necessarily have to put down exactly what they want. You can give it the next step down, which would be sort of a happy face, but not the most satisfied kind of thing. It'll still do. It'll still work just fine. Notice that I just plopped somebody down. The customer is still pretty satisfied for the most part. Uh, I could have threw Yuki down if I wanted to. I didn't really have to. You know what I mean? Most people just, when they, because when they, uh, the reason why some people tend to struggle with, uh, um, you know, maybe cl uh, with Club Mars in the beginning is because they tend to overwork the, uh, the main, you know, Yuki too much to where she gets tired. You don't want to do that. So you want to go back and forth with different you know, different girls, you know, make sure you at least got enough hostesses that you can at least go up against them, you know, you want at least, you know, whether you got around town or you went to the shrine, whatever you did, as long as you have enough hostess, you should be okay. Now, should, does it matter who you have in? I mean, yes and no, not really, I mean, I beat the guy with, with a level, I've only, you know, I pretty much beat, you know, Club Mars with a level 6 Yuki, and only a couple of hostess that I have were only like 3 and level 4. He's really not that hard, guys. Now, the main thing you need to pay attention to when you're out on the floor, though, it's like anything else. You need to pay attention to the hostess's signals. Like, when you go in to check each one, for example, each of the each of the, the girls will basically give you a sign, and you have to basically guess what they are. That is where you can get extra bonuses and things like that. So what does she just do? She asks you to pick up an ashtray. It's like, okay, how do you know what's what? Well, uh, it takes a little bit, but since I'm here, I'm going to walk you exactly, show you exactly what 
each person is gonna ask for, or what what basically the hostess is asking for for the customer in this case. Sometimes they'll ask for themselves, sometimes it'll be for something else. Like that, for example, she's opened or folded her hands, it's pretty obvious she's asking for a menu, okay? So you hit that. So what does it do? It gives extra bonuses, basically. So the more the more things you add, the more that the customer is going to spend money in the club. Now, uh, the thing you need to keep in mind, though, that um, because you have you have platinum, gold hostesses, you have silver hostesses, and you have um, bronze hostesses. Only the platinum hostesses are the only ones that really you know bring in the most money. The others kind of vary between, you know, uh, some of them be on the cheaper side, some of them are uh, for silver hosts make a certain, bring in a certain amount of money, and gold hosts bring in a certain amount. But depending on what people that are in there, you might want to put this person with this person or that person. Uh, so it's like, what happens if, if you set a gold hostess down to say, okay, somebody that wants a certain thing, but maybe they might not have the particular something that the gold host might not have something that they're looking for okay that's where you can go ahead and throw your platinum on it if it can cover it right if you have somebody at least you can throw down as long as you have enough hostesses that are out there it doesn't always have to be a gold host because you have to keep in mind sometimes even when the person might be satisfied you have to figure some of the people that are coming in you know club mars they can only afford so much so they only pay, there's only so much money that they, you know, they'll spend on them here or there. So if you want to, if you want to make more money, for example, then this is where you sometimes might want to recruit some gold hostesses here or there. Uh, if you did a couple of sites, if you did a couple of multiple side stories, for example, um, there are a couple of people you could recruit, like. Obiteria, for example, you guys might know about her. There's a couple of other girls you could basically get that are actually a little bit better than the ones you can get at the shrine. Uh, but usually, since the ones you can get at the shrine kind of vary between gold, silver, and bronze, things like that. And there's also other hostesses you could pick up around town, but you guys, some of you guys might know about them. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta buy it something that you want them to, you know, basically join you in the club kind of thing right so it just basically just keep it in this process right that's really all that's really as simple as it is when you go into each one of them they're gonna you know each of the girls are gonna tell you it's like okay you know what this is what he's asking for it's like what happens if you don't well if you just ignore it nothing happens you know but if you go into it and you want to check it obviously uh, if you're going, if you're going up against, you know, club bars, you're gonna want to do the best you can to basically outbeat him, right? Because there are times where he's gonna basically, um, he's gonna go into, oh, you know, he's there's times where he's gonna spam a little bit, not not, not as much as the guy with club moon or all that kind of stuff. But each of each of the each of them do sometimes end up doing that and on occasion it can it can sometimes bump certain people off of the off the table that's where you have to you know you have to you know be careful how you go about different ones and that's why i mentioned about making sure that you have your hostesses up listed up by the time you take on club bars you know even though i mentioned that he's really not that hard I can understand not everybody can, you know, everybody's first time getting through the park might not go well for everybody. Like I said, I lucked out of my first time, but I didn't, you know, I didn't know much about how it all went and things like that. It just kind of worked out for me. You know, the the one thing that I didn't really understand was the hand signals and all that kind of stuff. I didn't quite know how it went. Once I started figuring that stuff out, it just became pretty much easier. And then... I noticed that uh, I was starting to make more money on top of what I was already doing. So you notice that how many times I've already hit the hit the hit the party uh, thing, right? Well, to, if you continue to keep doing that, there's no way that Club Mar, you know, uh, there's no way that that guy's going to be able to keep up with you because you're already out doing it as it is, just by checking every single table, and you got different people coming in. Not only is going to help you in return. Now, on occasion, uh, about gifts, here's what I want to say about gifts. Uh, 
it's okay to give sub here and there because it can kind of get the customer to talk to other people. And if you do them kind of good, uh, sometimes they may request other people to come in later, which can add more customers to the club. But don't overdo it. Only do it here or there. Most of the time, usually what I do is I usually, uh, I usually just kind of thank them. But sometimes I might give a gift here or there, you know. Um, now, what about, um, it'll tell you, it'll tell you if the person, uh, wants a long session versus somebody that just wants something kind of short and quick kind of thing, right? It's just like anything else, right? If all of us that go to a club, sometimes, you know, we all kind of prefer, to, you know, if we're going to, uh, I don't know, and how it works, you know, we all like different things, right? So, uh, it's kind of the same thing. You just kind of have to, uh, think of it like a business, you know, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> that's basically the best way you can kind of sum it up it's like guys come in and they basically get to hang out with pretty chicks all day i don't know that's pretty much what it boils down to but everybody has their own thing you know you guys know that right and that's really what it boils down to at the end of the day <laughs> Uh, the funny thing about it for me is how the, all the NPCs kind of look called similar all the time. Yeah, that's, well, that's, you know, that's how, uh, I, I don't know. They do that for, I don't know, he thinks, uh, it's just, that's no different from other games that I've played, you know. Uh, it just kind of does, does the same thing, you know. Uh, I really is my uh, the girl that you guys, even though I have Aya down here, obviously you guys don't have her. So this obviously I probably make a lot more money because I have Aya out here on the on the floor compared to what you guys might be having going up against. But I, I'm only giving you an example. I am gonna show at least another time, but I'm gonna pull I out of the group and show you exactly what I actually did as far as who I actually beat club bars with uh but i'm basically going through this first time just to show you how you guys can get through like because once i started kind of uh helping my friend a little bit i basically kind of helped him beat it and that was pretty much it but so that's pretty much what prompted me to make the video because you know i i know there's people that get around to play the game and i figured at least go over a few things to look out for while you're out on the floor because there's there's a lot of things that people can tend to, to miss a little bit here or there so like what how it's like how, you, how do you, can you recognize with different hands well it takes some you know uh sometimes that's where you have to look at videos guys that's just the best way that you can sum it up you know me on the other hand i i could find anything about that kind of stuff you know i just i just you know it didn't really, it wasn't something that, you know, uh, the first three, the first three clubs, honestly, you know, uh, Club Mars, Club uh, Jupiter, and Mercury, I didn't really have too much trouble with them, you know, I got through them pretty, pretty easily, um, but once I started getting to, uh, what's, what's his name, uh, the one before you get the Club Moon, uh, uh, Venus, I should say. That's where I would say it starts to get a little harder because that uh, because they bring in more money, so you have to figure, you know. So that's pretty much how you if you do just what I just basically laid out here and showed you guys and give you examples, basically put people where they're supposed to be, make sure everybody's rest before you take it on, and they should be just fine. I want you to notice that there, you know. Only one person in here didn't really get much play, and that was the shield girl I just kind of put in. I only put her in because I got, you know, but there was a couple extra hostesses that I basically picked up, so that, that explains why they're only level one. So, you know, now, uh, should you, can you beat it? Well, not Club Mars. I mean, even Club Mars, you know, uh, I mean, it's not so much the level, guys. It's more or less what you're doing out on the floor. The, uh, the only ones that you want to be a little bit of a higher, a uh, little bit higher than level one would be your platinum host, hostess. Because you have to figure each, uh, there, uh, outside of the platinum hostesses, guys, there really is not that much different between a gold hostess and a silver hostess and a bronze hostess. Now, some people might say otherwise, but there really isn't. Because here's why. For example, each hostess has their own weakness. 
own strengths and weaknesses. Now, sometimes the gold hostesses, for example, sometimes they might be, some of them can cover a little bit more of an area than maybe a sub silver hostesses or even a bronze. But don't necessarily sell the bronze hostesses for sure. Umi, for example, even though uh, she doesn't really have much in the way of any kind of strength, but I want you to notice that she has some pretty balanced stats. But I want you to notice that Shio here is a level one, and she has a similar kind of, you know, similar kind of stats as a bronze hostess. So basically, what you, what you want to do is, if you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself, maybe if you guys are struggling, maybe change your lineup around. It's like, okay, I, I tried this and I still couldn't quite beat him. Maybe what you might need to do is, what I usually like to do is, I put at least two gold hostesses, two silver hostesses, and two bronze hostesses to go with my you know however many clubs that i beat if i only have yuki and i'll throw in uh, um it it depends on you know if you have enough gold host if you don't then maybe go out and see if you can find another one but i mentioned about the obertarian and things like that putting her in you know but uh the thing about the obertarian though she's mainly only good with talking that she is good don't get me wrong uh, but some people say that her main strength is mainly when you start going up against the tougher clubs because she can't be easily taken off the board as easily. But another thing, uh, that if you want another little thing, if you guys haven't done it, you can also, you know, basically partner up with a couple of the businesses around the area because this could also basically help you increase you know, people that can come into the club. So maybe, let's say, because I, I can't say what everybody's game is like, but basically the more people that you, the more businesses you partner up around these areas for Club Mars, they're mostly located around this area. If you guys, if you guys are doing other clubs, then you have to go other places around, you know, Sotenbori because they're not, uh, this area right here is mostly around Club Mars. But, uh, now, yeah, they do get a little bit pricey, some of them, but Club Mars, compared to some of the others, is, isn't nearly as expensive as some of the others. But now, if you don't really have a lot of money, yeah, that's what makes it get a little tricky, obviously. Um, you see that I still had a couple more out there, and I already, I've already beaten Club Mars, like I said. I didn't even partner up with most of them, so... I only partnered with like maybe two or three at most, and I, I beat, you know, I beat them pretty, you know, like nothing, you know. But obviously, you know, uh, and maybe I'm just like, you know, obviously because I know it now pretty well, that pretty much explains how I was able to get through it pretty well. So now let's go back in it again to show you what my actual lineup was. But before I do that, I want to go over the special trading some of you guys might know about this some of you guys may not if you haven't done the any kind of sit down with yuki uh you're doing yourself a little bit of a disservice now uh if you want to know exactly what the, what the right what the right thing to say to yuki when you i i would recommend looking up maybe what kind of conversations to say to her but basically, the better you do with them in interviews, the better off they will be able to perform. And it can also help increase their stats a little bit more. But this only applies to the platinum processes. Uh, you know, it's the same thing with dresses, all that kind of stuff. They're the only ones you can basically uh, customize in the game. The the rather, the rather re the other hostesses, they're pretty much just there to help you get through. You know, that's pretty much what they're there for. But yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, wow, this is kind of like, you know, like the fifth time I've played the game, and I've, you know, uh, this, this sub-story now with Majima, it's, it's, it's kind of a walk in the park for me now. Uh, other than, you know, even after, even now, after I, I beat the game a few times, you know, I'm talking about the, the, uh, clubs, uh, the, uh, sub-story, but Majima anyway, uh, Club Moon still can give me a little bit of a challenge because the way that, uh, it's the way that, you know, the way that, they, uh, I don't know, Sega kind of went about it. Uh, there's an off, it's just an awful lot of spamming. And even when you have all your hostesses maxed out, your platinums and, you know, uh, everything is up. I don't know. It's just a weird thing. Like, some people say that, uh, <laughs> you more often lose to, yeah, because uh, when he hits you, you know, like, 
Uh, he really takes a chunk out of your, but but this is why you know you want to have your hostess's max health because they do get the, the highest health. You know, Yuki in particular, you, you wouldn't think so, but she does. But uh, you know, some of the other. This is where some of the other. Why I mentioned how it, you know, the other hostesses, whether they're gold, silver, or uh, bronze, it really doesn't matter much with them because they all have. They might have strengths in one area, but they might have some weaknesses in another. For example, some of them might have really low health, and other ones might have strength in another area, where they might have better health, but they might they might not they might have weaknesses in an area where you know don't benefit them too well. This is where you kind of have to you have to kind of balance certain things out of with them, you know. That's really what it boils down to at the end of the day, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I mean, it's a it's a fun sub story, but you know, uh, I'm not gonna say that everybody's gonna have you know be as lucky as I was when I first played it and got through it just fine. Like I mentioned, the only thing I couldn't quite figure out was the hand signal. Sometimes I would kind of get it right on occasion, but most of the time, you know, it was more or less just me kind of guessing, uh, you know. But once I started getting the hang of it. And other things like that. So it's like, so if I do less gifts, so if you're, so what you, some of you are probably like, so what you're saying is if I do those, I could be, well, with the exception of Club Moon, he's going to try to do everything he can to keep, you know, you're, you're pretty much your platinums off of the board. That's primarily what he's, you know, since you pretty much took from him, he's pretty much, you know, that's, that's the game's way of saying, okay, you got all the way this way. We're gonna we're gonna try to take you down the peg. This is where you know if you did certain sub stories, like I mentioned about the Obertarian, he's basically like the Joker of uh, you know if you get a deck of cards right, basically your platinums are basically your four aces. You right, you got Yuki, uh, I, you got the girl from Club Jupiter, and then uh, what is it? There's I think it's Club Mercury. I forget what the girl's name from there was. Uh, she's get, she wore like a, a, maybe it was a blue outfit. I don't remember now. And then the, the other, the last girl before you get the Club uh, Moon, she wore like a yellowish color outfit, right? So yeah. Uh, so <laughs> it's a, I don't know. It was kind of interesting. Now a little tip, guys. Uh, here's something I want you guys to. When it comes to spending money on the hostesses. Don't overdo it. I know some people might say that if you put some, but trust me, you don't necessarily, because some, here's, here's what I want to say, because if you put an outfit, let's say you take Yuki, for example, and you put some different dress on her, now all of a sudden you might have to get something else up or you didn't like with certain things. You have to figure, you know, it's like, all right, since you have to figure since customers look for different things. Uh, Yuki covers a broad area. She she has a sexy kind of appeal, but at the same time, uh, she also has a cute. Uh, but there's customers that sometimes look for different things. Some of them like beauty. Some of them, you know, what's uh, funny? The funny one, for example, is that kind of leads it toward the skill area. So somebody that could be a little on the humorous side, for example, would be sort of, you know. Now, Yuki, once you start getting some of her uh, stats up, it, it will basically start to help her a little bit. She's primarily, you know, even though she starts out a little shy when you first talk to her with Majima, you can kind of tell that, you know, it's more or less she was just, uh, it's kind of the way she is. But once she starts getting going, though, um, Yuki is, is basically your best all-around hostess out of this version of the game. Uh, now, I, I is probably the second, I would say, second best after. Uh, I actually, you know, I actually can cover a lot more ground in certain areas that even Yuki can. However, though, um, I doesn't have as much stamina as the way that Yuki does, though. She doesn't have the same amount of health. She's all right, but... Um, uh, when you go up against Club Mars, for example, there's a lot of people that tend to end up requesting I when you start getting around there. And the guy just has a habit of basically knocking her out a lot. So basically, uh, with, by the time you get to him, most people say that you really want to have the Obertarian maxed out by then. Yes, but another, another girl that... Um, you can also get is you know the guy you know the guy that you basically do errands for right this girl right here Aranda 
Okay, she she's not a hostess that you could get from the shrine or pick up anywhere. She's basically somebody that you can do a sub story. It's a, basically a side thing, right? Same difference, you know. And basically to get her, you know, uh, the guy that, you know, that was doing errands, I would say, and that you do errands for, you get, the, you know, the guy that was hanging out by the M store, he looked like he was hurt, you basically help him, right? Well, it turns out, you know, what I mentioned and what I did the the other video, what I was doing was, I said how, you know, it turned out that she was basically already seeing another guy. He didn't know that at the time. He didn't, the guy didn't know that. But he still, he still did it anyway. But she turns out to be a hostess, right? Turned out that she was at a, a I don't know, for some reason. Like, and surprisingly, she's uh, she's a little bit like uh, the Obatarian in some way. She rarely gets rattled. When you, uh, she's pretty good with people that like to talk, and she's okay at party groups too. Same thing. Uh, well, the Obatarian is the only other hostess in the game that, you know, when uh, Club the the guy from Club Moon starts doing his spamming stuff. They can kind of, they, they're, they're one of the few that don't get rattled too often to where they'll still sit there, you know what I mean? Now, obviously, you know, he continues to do it a lot. He, you know, he can still have an effect on them. But it's usually, uh, most of the time, they can kind of stand in there. Uh, but it's usually everybody else that he starts taking out. And, you know, when their health starts going down, you know, uh, that's when they start to perform pretty bad and all that kind of stuff, you know. So, but yeah, that's all you guys uh, got to do, guys. It's just pay attention to what you see, you know, around around the when you get out there. And you see, this is the lineup that I have. When I came in just like this, then uh, you guys see that I don't have I in the group now. This is basically... What I used to basically beat, you know, club bars, you know, I, I didn't do anything special. But like I said, this is like the fourth and fifth time I've, you know, I've done this sub story now. This, the club sunshine sub story, for example. I don't know. But that's pretty much all you need to do, you know, it's, it's as simple as that. Uh, I, the funny thing for me, I actually struggled more with Kidu's side of the story than I did with Majima. Because, yeah, with the, the billionaire thing, man, it just takes way too long to, to make that kind of money. Like, your first playthrough, guys, I'm just going to say, it's, it's just, um, it's almost damn near impossible to, because uh, most of the buildings, you guys know, they cost like a fortune, some of them. Uh, even, even the, even on the, even the first guy, you know, uh, what is it, the Leisure King, yeah, it's like, man, oh man, you gotta get the property. Now, if you made a decent amount of money by the time you have to, you know, by the time you start doing it, you know, uh, it's, it's still feasible that you can get through it. But, you know, uh, the uh, the guy that, uh, the guy that's, uh, the, what is it, electronics king, usually, that's where things start to get a little bit more pricey. And then you got the gambling, you got the gambling, you got the gambling king, whatever. Then you got the pleasure king. And then there's the media king. Good God almighty, man. Just to get to that guy, it's like, holy mackerel, man. Uh, and it, it took me like, let's just say, it took me two, basically a second playthrough to come back a second time through. After I basically did as much as I could the first time. And even then, it's still bad. It's like, and not to mention the fact, <laughs> not to mention, you know, if let's say when you get a challenge from one of them and say you lose that challenge to them, they'll take a, a certain percentage from you. And depending on how many buildings you basically purchase, uh, it could take a little while to basically get it back, get back up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the club uh, I would say Club Sunshine compared to, you know, the, the Cabaret stuff with uh, Majima is definitely much more straightforward. Uh, but uh, Kidu Steg, if you do it right, if you're patient enough with it, most people say it can be fun. Yeah, uh, the Pleasure King in, gener in particular, I, I don't know. I found him to be kind of interesting. I don't know why. Even though you can clearly see he's, he's kind of supposed to represent sort of like a trans person, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I just found him to be the most interesting out of the group because he didn't look like the type of person that fit, fit in with them, you know. I don't know. 
But at the same time, you know, that's the area that he basically dwells in, you know. I don't know. <laughs> bad or bad. But uh, the only, the, the really, the only challenge you really get out of Magic Side, like I said, is when you start doing Club Penis. Because that's when they take Yuki from you a little bit. Try to make it a little harder. But usually by then, you usually have a couple of Platinum Hostesses by then. Like, you should have I, you should have um, Saki from Club Jupiter, and like I mentioned, the girl Mercury. Now, if you guys have already done Club Mars, which one should you do next? Well, what I recommend, Club Jupiter, then do Club Mercury, and yeah. Well, some people say uh, you can kind of, I don't know, you can kind of flip the coin between, honestly, Club Mercury and Jupiter, and to me, they're about the same. Uh, the only difference is uh, with Club Mercury, uh, that's where people, uh, some of the rich people start to kind of pour in. And some of your, that's where some of your bronze hosts, that's where I was going to say about bronze hosts, this is where I was saying about how much they, uh, because they're on the smaller scale, most of the, you know, people that have a lot of money tend to kind of don't look at their, don't look their way. That's when they start looking at some of your platinums or even a gold, you know, a gold hostess can, can satisfy a rich person to some degree. But not always, and sometimes it doesn't, and sometimes it doesn't. There are certain occasions uh, where um, uh, a rich person will actually, you know, where one of your one of your partners will actually get a request where they'll automatically take take the host. Yeah, you don't get a. I mean, it's kind of a weird thing, like you know. Uh, well, Club Venus is kind of like that too, but it's even more. It's even more since in his place. It gets even more rich people in, in that guy's place than even what Club Mercury gets, you know. But uh, really, really, the only challenging thing about him is the fact that, you know, um, he just starts out with uh, a little bit ahead of you. So it takes a little bit of some time to try to, you know, make a lot of money. But that's where I said it. If by the time you get to him, if you at least max out most of your time by then, you should be able to get through it just fine. Um, what about some of you guys are like, well, what about the others? Well, if you guys, if you're watching this either way, even if you've already done Club Mars, I mentioned at the beginning, this video was made to help them. But, it, uh, you know, I would pretty much get all your Platinums up, all your hostesses up, pretty much, if you can. It takes a while to basically max everybody out, as you guys know. But it's like a, yeah, it almost feels like you're grinding a little bit, right? <laughs> That's kind of what it does feel like. But you have to figure, it's, this whole damn, you know, Yakuza is basically, uh, are uh, basically a role-playing fighting action game. That's basically what it is. You know, it's it's got a deep story and plot and things like that. But there's there's more to this game than just the fighting aspect, right? Oh. And there you go, sixteen. You know, uh, that that's actually just a little bit more than I made than what I actually beat. Uh, the Club Mars guy. It was actually a little lower than that. Yeah. <laughs> he, don't, he doesn't usually get nowhere near this high. I don't know. But it depends, you know. Now, obviously, eventually, when you start doing some of the other clubs compared to Club Mars, yeah, that's when you're going to want to start getting some of your levels up a little bit. Because Club Jupiter, I would say, Mercury, they are just a little more challenging than Club Mars. Not much more. Just a little bit, you know. <laughs> so that's 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 about it guys so nothing else i could really add so you guys pretty much know what to do now i apologize if those of you guys were hoping that i would at least show the actual challenge if i had a save you know if i had a new save maybe if i started over i could show it but i've already beaten them now so it's a little late for that but there you have it guys so that's it